can this mega ship cross the strait of gibraltar let's find out Crossing ahead. Crossing ahead. Yeah, I saw now our red light. We are crossing. So we have chicken curry today, yeah? Meat. Biryani, yeah? Good morning, sir. This is Mankewa Mask exiting sector 4, entering sector 5. Over. What's up guys, welcome back to another day at sea. I just woke up, it is 7.37 am and it's going to be one of the busiest day because we are going to be crossing the Malacca Strait, heading into Singapore and do a lot of bunkering operations etc etc. So uh, I'll show you everything but first let me get ready and then go have breakfast and start my watch. One thing I would like to tell you is forget about sleep for the next 5-6 uh, months when you are on ship. So it's time for breakfast and we have fruits, eggs, sausage. But what I would like to show you is the view outside of the Malacca Strait. Wow, beautiful. I'll go and make a time lapse of this. How about a beautiful morning from the Singapore Strait? Wow, man! Like it's a total dramatic scene over there. Like totally dr dramatic. So currently in the Singapore Strait, there are going to be a lot of vessels, which you can see already have started. We have started overtaking many of them and uh, do a lot of reporting and stuff, which I'll show you. And whenever there is a dramatic scene, it's time to set up the time lapse. Time for my watch. Well, Rahul will be my watch keeper for today and uh, he'll just uh, keep an eye on any fishing boats and stuff. We have about 101 nautical miles to go for Singapore and this is presently the situation looks okay, not so much traffic. I'll just show you on the chart exactly how many reportings we have and uh, how the transit is going to be. So this is the Mariner's Routing Guide Malacca and Singapore Straits. It is not used for navigation, just for checking the reportings. You see there are a lot of uh, shallow patches over here and this is known as the TSS Traffic Separation Scheme. So this is the eastbound lane, this is the westbound lane. So we have to follow them and not go into the other side. So like you saw from the TSS uh, in the chart, TSS is actually just a virtual line. There is no marking in real time, it is just for uh, guidance, a virtual uh, line, so we follow the general direction of the traffic flow. So our plan is to uh, start from the One Fathom Bank and to reach Singapore in, an, uh, in uh, 14 hours as per the speed, safe speed, enter into sector 7, enter Singapore, do our cargo operations here, come out, go eastbound to China. So guys, like I told you, we'll have to report and do the reporting now. Kalang VTS, Kalang VTS for Mankeba Musk. Mankeba Musk calling on channel 61 over. Yes, good morning sir. This is Mankeba Musk exiting sector 4, entering sector 5 over. Standing by 8816 out. So guys, like I was telling you, that was the reporting and we can find the reporting uh, channels on the Mariner's routing guide for Singapore Strait or in the various digital publications. One point port bow. Yeah. Okay. It's submarine. Thank you. We are crossing ahead. Crossing ahead. Yeah, I saw now our red light. We are crossing. Thank you, Rahul. So as you see, Rahul, he keeps reporting whenever he sees something. So that's how uh, the watchkeeper's duty is 
to keep us informed the duty officers so at present our eta has changed as per the agent we just got a call so now we have to adjust our speed rather slow down so we have a few vessels which we are overtaking and the few vessels which are behind us as you see over there so now what we have to do is assess the situation and then take a call because the eta can be uh, adjusted accordingly but navigation is priority at all times Right, the second mate has also prepared the reportings as required that we concentrate on navigation and not waste time. This is our VHF from which we report, and we've got uh, one here, one here, and the other one right over there. So my watch is over, and the sun is shining extremely, extremely bright now, and uh, we are just three hours away from Singapore. So. We're going to be reaching soon. We've covered this uh, pretty much uh, easily. It wasn't that busy this time. More busy part is after Singapore when we depart the Singapore Strait, the VTI section. And uh, what I'll do now is collect my GoPro and then go eat my lunch. Okay, now let's go. Huh? End of our watch. <laughs> okay, let's go for lunch. Go for lunch. Yes. Sunday. Matt, how are you? Good? Yeah, still alive. Good life, yeah? So we have chicken curry today, yeah? Matt? Biryani, yeah? Okay. We're done with lunch. Now, I'll see you later. Get some sleep. So that fresh for the, I'm fresh for the station, you know? A few minutes later. It is 1700 in the evening, as you can see on my cabin clock. Then I started editing and now I realized that I think the ETA has changed because I can feel the ship not moving, it has stopped. So uh, when the ship is moving, there are certain vibrations, but for now, nothing. So I'll go up now, let's see what's happening outside. And then most probably I think I'll be doing the station today. There is the Singapore flag flying high and uh, we had to actually drift around the Strait of Gibraltar, somewhere right over there. And I'm sure that would have been a tough task for the captain as well as the chief officer who are on watch because there are plenty of ships transiting from the eastbound and westbound lane like I showed you in the morning. Drifting because the berth was still occupied by a ship. Uh, let's see if we can capture that uh, when we reach Singapore. But that, that is why the delay in the pilot and everything. Okay guys, camera is set, time to go back and get ready for my station. I just got a call from the chief officer. I have to go and stand by for power station now. So, time for arrival. Makeba Bridge, uh, radio check, Karan. Loud and clear. Starboard side alongside 5 and 2 springs first. Copy that, chief. And tugs will be in another 15 minutes. So, here we are, guys. Make the anchors ready. See my guys, where are they? What's up, Rodney? All good. All good, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so, guys, the Triple E, uh, this particular ship was occupying our boat, and now it's, it has moved, and now it's our turn to go inside, go alongside, stop outside. Both our anchors are ready. My men are preparing everything and then we go inside. Technically the plan was to arrive in daylight but as you see behind me uh, it's going to be a nighttime operation and uh, nighttime I'm, I'm a bit uh, more cautious with the mooring offs because uh, the lighting over here is not very good. But the gantry cranes will fall down and then uh, we do the operation successfully. So we just finished with the mooring ops and uh, in this port we are not allowed to go outside on deck wherever the TV doors are working so we've got a dedicated radio. Ah, this is a typical day in a third officer's life. 
or I would say a junior officer in life. But for a vlogger, it is more tiring because you have to coordinate with your cameras, check if everything is intact, do all the practical things that uh, every first of all do everything safely, and then do this. So, uh, if you haven't uh, liked this video till now, please, please hit the like button. So guys, I'll come. I've come back to just drink water and uh, refresh, wash my face, and yeah, that is more or less our straight of Gibraltar transit. We made it successfully. We are.